Yorana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. I hope you're all well. We're here for a fairly tense match against Motu One. So in the last episode, we drew against Taha and managed to beat Moria. Uh, but because of the way other matches went, so Tetaro winning theirs, um, we, l we were left with a table like this. So we're three points behind second and first. Uh, Tetaro have already beaten us once this season, so it doesn't matter if we win and Tetaro lose, they'll still stay above us because of results between teams, even though we've got a much better goal difference than them. So we need Taha to lose and us to be Motu 1. So we need a couple of things to go right for us. The team is relatively refreshed, one or two injuries here and there, but the team should be strong enough to make a good go of this. I was worried about not having enough money to pay the players. Uh, not for this match, but to renew contracts. It's the 1st of January. But actually, I've managed to renew the contracts for most of the team, and very few of them actually asked for much um, more, so that's kind of extended. There's a few players who haven't made the cut. So Chisholm, for example, I've not renewed his contract, so I'll be releasing him at some point. Start the transfer window as well, so there have been some offers here and there um, for players, but nothing major is kind of afoot. There are lots of players I was really interested who was in getting who are still on a free, but they won't talk to me or they'll ask for far too much money. So there was one striker I thought I might bring in who um, looked really good. He's Luca Barr. I think I've mentioned him. At, I'll show you him quickly before the match. Um, this guy. Really good. Rated really highly by the scouts. 21 goals in 65 for Uapoa. So he's a good, good player. Um, his attributes just fit fit the role pretty well. But he wants over a grand. I don't think I can offer more than three fifty or something like that. Um, obviously you've seen my secret here as well. Searching for six foot four players. I don't know why Angolan selected. I've not been searching for any of them. Um, but there's not many players who are likely to to come in. It stands. I did think about getting Fred Postman as well, Postman. Um, but he was going to take a lot of wages, about 350, which is about three times more than Gerard's currently getting pay paid. So I couldn't really justify it. Not when we're described as being financially precarious and go back a bit. Obviously, Pepite went into administration. They're not the only team. If you go to the championship, then the Corollas also got docked uh, five points. So not a huge amount. It's less in the championship to try and reduce the damage of tumbling down the table. Um, but it, had has, it has happened. So let's sort the squad out against Motu 1. I think we drew against them at the start of the season. The very first game of the season, so we're about the halfway mark. This is going to be tough. Let's bring up time graph for Wallace. There's a bid in for Wallace to go out and learn, and I'm considering it. Um, and O'Keefe as well. Richards is injured. Pons, who's coming back from injury. That will have to do, I think. Relatively. Dalloway's unfit, but I'd rather have Pons on the bench than, than Douglas. So this is what we'll go with. So if First thing we need to do is beat Motu 1. Can't do anything about the um, other game, but we'll keep an eye on it. They're going 4 4 2. We're playing at their home stadium. Um, not the fans, they won't care. That motivated them. It's a nice, nice pitch. Much better than the kind of sand that Taha have got, because that hurts the eyes. Which has been commented on in one of the other videos. There we go. There's, that's a good start. Wait with the free kick straight from the off. He knows what's up. I don't know if you can see it or whether it's just on my monitor, but these lines look like they're flashing in and out. It's just because the textures aren't great. I think it's such an underused part of the game that basically uh, SI haven't really looked at it. I think there are so few games played on the clay and sand pitches. Oh. Really? 
hero to villain in less than 10 minutes. We've not even played 10 minutes. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to bring off, it's going to sound weird, Yannin. Because if Dalloin gets injured and I have an issue on the left, Gerard can at least go there. Give me a little bit more flexibility, even though Yannin is generally slightly better at the goal scoring than Gerard. He's only slight. Gerard's still pretty decent. He's got a decent record. But yeah, thanks, wait. So we need Taha to lose, so let's bring up the latest scores. Taha are playing Manue. I imagine they're going to beat Manue, or at the very least draw. I don't think Manue have got what it takes to beat them. So it's probably not going to matter what the score is here. Yeah, not a great start. So yeah, I can still see the flashing. So yeah, as I just said, I think SI have played enough games with this on and not enough people play with it on for this to have been raised as an issue. It's not something I noticed in the well into Gwen Gerard. There we go. Tenth goal. Pretty key as goals go. He is a much more combative learn striker. Learn strike yeah, learn is in on his own striker. Um he does pick up on mistakes a little bit more than Yanin does. Um Obviously, that's that's why I've let, I've selected him, not Yannin. Definitely, I'm just making it up as I go along. Tetra are winning anyway, so even if it wasn't results between teams, we wouldn't be able to catch them. Come on, Gerard. Not bad. Let's learn strikers go. We just seems to be hitting our stride right at the point where. It's a little bit too late. It's a good long ball. Just Lam just stopped and hoofed it. Come on, Manuel. Come on, we'll lend you one of our best players if you can just take some points off them. More points off them, even. Oh, another player I've not renewed the contract for just yet is Chance. So although he plays well, and he's... Oh. Hopefully I'll get back into this. It's a good, good run, good goal. Yeah, Chan I've not renewed yet, because actually his attributes are getting worse and worse, and they're not fantastic. He has them in the key places. So according to the analysis I've done, um, like in the defensive attributes and things like that, he's... He's got a few reasonably high ones in the right place, but he doesn't actually have many double figures. He's got lots of eights and nines, which is probably no longer good enough, really. Just technically too long, should I? I don't want to see that again. It's not even like they've put us under tons of pressure and then they've scored a well-worked goal. It's I, mean, I shouldn't complain too much because we're smashing and grabbing them in comparison. Taha still drawing. Still get result. Field. Let's get motivated. Just looking at the bench to see who I could bring on. I was like, oh, I could bring on Pons. Pons would be good. No, I've already brought him on. Because we got the red card. <laughs> Spilled it away. I'm hoping he doesn't do that FM thing of Manuel are going to win like in the 90th minute or something like that. We're going to draw. I don't know how to stop him because the pressing's on. They should be closing him down. The line of engagement's pretty high as well, so they should be stopping him. I guess the other issue is the person who's meant to be doing the stopping is Weaver.
Go on. Almost. That looked like he was nailed on. Took it so well. Tetra drawing now. But Taha still drawing as well. Let's make some substitution spearling on for Andre. Some, some fresh legs. And up front. O'Keefe for the pace. Or Tangara for the strength. I think it's pace we need at the moment if they're pressing forwards, what's going on there. Come on, Manu here. One goal. That's all we need. It's one goal from Manu Island. From the Turtles. Go on. Ten minutes. It's not going to happen, is it? As is, rifles are wide. I mean, this is just as heartbreaking as us drawing and them losing. It's the same end result, pretty much. I saw the goal up there and it's like, what? What? No. Different match entirely. Yeah, he's offside. I, mean, I didn't think he was, but fine. Take your time. Doesn't matter what happens now. We're still not making it. <sighs> Unless something has happened that we've not seen, like a proper last minute goal. So we did well, considering we were a man down for 80 of those minutes. Good win. Gerard being the hero. But it doesn't look at that. It's one point. That's the difference. No OCL for us. It's really, really irritating to be that close to it as well. That's just. Say it yet? I have to go forward a match, I think, so you can see the. I'll watch it just for the, the pain. Assistant can go and talk to him for that. Two weeks wages. That's it. Discipline. So let's see, I just wanna just wanna see the confirmation that it's all gone horribly wrong. They keep putting bids in for um, East Hope, whose contract's running out. And he doesn't want to sign a new contract uh, with me. He's okay. Um, but a lot of these bids to buy him right now involve us paying his wage for the duration. And I'd rather just not. Oh, competition rankings. Yep, still top. Just edging out New Zealand. Championship next. And. So I'm, just, I'm not very good at clicking on the links in the most efficient way to get to the clubs. Oh, it's not happened yet. Well, I guess it's still a second. Maybe it's later today. Maybe there's a time zone issue. Yeah, there we go, they're in the OCL. And I can confirm that we are not. What? Oh. Saying we are. Preliminary round? Wait. Ooh. Post Tahiti societies, does that mean we get an extra team? I don't know how to find this out. Okay, top two teams qualify for the OCL group stage. Exclusions, AS chance are ineligible because they're an under 23s team, essentially, which I forgot about. 
So now top two means those two. Not not us two. It should be Tetra and Taha or not. So I'm gonna pause here and then go forwards and see if, until the draw happens. So maybe actually no, let's just look at Tetra. Let's see what's going on with there. So they're in it as well. So saying they've qualified. Anyone else? Moti one? No. I think there's maybe an extra place or uh, I don't know, is there like a coefficient thing? I don't think this is done on like a coefficient. There's no... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to find this out. So general rankings we just looked at. Qualification places. <gasps> Is this no? No. Again, it says two here. Everyone gets two. Don't know. Just do not know. Yeah, I'm going to pause and come back for this because I need to work out what, what witchcraft this is and whether this is just the game playing cruelly with us. Um, let's just get back to the OCL. Schedule. So saying the draw is the ninth, which is not what it was before. So group stage doesn't start until the eleventh of February. Maybe I just got things wrong. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So maybe the drama was all fabricated. We will see. I'll be back in a moment for you in a little while for me. Okay, so I'm back. And it looks like, according to the calendar, I don't know if you saw it just there, that after this match, this is our next match, 8th of Jan, on the 9th of Jan, the early eagle will be drawn. So I don't know if this is our last chance. Maybe now we've, if we get into the top three, uh, top three, what well, I about top two, maybe we'll go three. So Tetra, I've got Bora Bora. I don't think Taha are playing today. So they're playing a little bit later on. Uh, but in theory, we could go second. But either way, what we should, by, you know, the game after the, uh, the ma uh, match, the day after this, we should know what's what. Spring on ponds, get rid of weights. Oh, someone else can really play that. That's a Kerr. Kerr will do. Let's try this, see what happens. So, yeah, it's just a bit weird because I know that in our club descriptions it says as Taha and Tetra have all qualified for the OCL. But everything else um, just has two qualification spots in the league rules, two qualification spots in the qualification bit gone, Gerard. There we go. Nice start. Twelfth goal of the season. Twelfth second more or less. Capitalising on a mistake. See I don't know what's going on, because yeah like I said in the the rankings qualification spots when you look at the continental stuff says two for Tahiti. And I wonder if it was because we're hosting, or the I say T societies is hosting, but I looked at last year's where I think it was New Zealand who are hosting, and there's still just two teams from New Zealand. There's no... Yeah, and it's sliding in. Two mistakes and two kind of predatory goals. So even if we don't end up uh, in the OCL, at least we will end up there in style, if that makes any sense. And this video is going to be a little bit longer because of my umming and ahhing right in the middle. Um, so 
So apologies for that. Um, but I'll leave it in there just so you can see how stupid I was. Whatever the answer is at the end of this, whether we're in or not, uh, you'll be able to see how I got it wrong completely, one way or the other. So one thing I did wonder as well was maybe it's saying us here for the three of us because we're the only three who could possibly be in it. Maybe it's that kind of it's narrowed it down to if the draws tomorrow. Us, Tara, Tetaroa, because after beating, oh, getting Gerard. See, so yeah, after beating Motu won, they're three points behind us. So if they won and we lost, they still couldn't get past us. Um, because of the results between teams. And the same with Moria as well. Let's have a look at the big table. Yeah, so Moria couldn't get past us. Anyway, Motu Wong can get past us and Skybrights can't get past us. It, the debate is whether we're going to get second over Taha. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's just narrowing down to who could possibly qualify. That said, I'm pretty sure I looked at those club summary screens a few weeks ago and it didn't say anything about OCL. So in theory then it would also say that for every club right at the start of the season being possibly qualified for it, so I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But we're 3-0 up against Uapoa. I think they got promoted last season, did quite well. They are the probably the best Marquesan team. And best success, best rep, highest position in the league and the tables. The rest, they're still not quite on top of the tree. Another girl for Gerard. It's a good finish from Gerard. I've noticed all of these goals don't have anyone for an assist. Everything's been kind of like a rebound, uh, rebound, rebound, or someone being in the right position for it. So yeah, if I'm a bit quiet, I'm just trying to think about possible explanations for why it's done that thing. It, maybe it's just one of those FM things. Please, I can't really say anything other than please for this, can I? Four nil. Let's be a bit brave. Bring Tangara and O'Keefe. I do like them as a pairing. It's that little and large pairing. Little O'Keefe and large Tangara. Yeah, I can't see Uapoa getting back into it. It's a lot of goals to overturn. Now down here in 10th. I wonder when Taha are playing their game as well. Look, so the other results, we've actually now gone top. So maybe it's going to be us and Tetero and Taha aren't going to be in. But as is, I don't think would be the top seed, but... I don't think there's much in the way of seeding for the group stages. I suppose we're stronger than all the teams apart from maybe whichever other Tahitian team it is and the New Zealand teams. And I don't think we'll get placed with the Tahitian team. Let's bring on another sub. Um, Spearling for Andre. So only nine shots, and only six on target. Four of those being some kind of rebound or mistake we picked up on. I'd feel a bit bad for Taha, but only a little bit bad for Taha if um, their match isn't until after the draw and they win it and end up second. 
or first, depending on what the points are, I can't remember. That would be just really unfortunate. But then, I mean, I wouldn't care too much. I feel bad, but I wouldn't care too much, as long as we get, get through. It's all over. Let's see what's going on. Good win, good win. Four goals and a clean sheet. Send the assistant off this one as well, because I just want to know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um. We've not got any news items. Apparently West still qualified for the OCL. Tetaroa. The OCL. Taha. Also for the OCL? No, that's us. Have I just been really thick? No, there we go. They're part of the OCL. I, I was thick just then. I don't know then. Do not know. So the three of us apparently are qualified. I think it's us. Do you think it's us? But I'll leave it there and I'll come back to it because I, I, this video is going to go on too long otherwise. The mystery will remain. Um, but it looks like we've probably done it by the sounds of things. So thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.